Welcome everyone. Today we have some challenges under indices. But before we go into today's challenge, my name is Jakes Anemo and this is Online Mass TV where we learn mathematics every day. Now, these are the three questions we have for the day. The first one is the second one and third one. We have to solve these uh, three challenges applying the laws of indices. Okay. But before we continue, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video. Okay, so let's take a solution. That X. So we have your solution. We take the first one. Okay, now let's continue on this other side of the bird. So we take the first one, first one which reads, uh, let's take this number one. We have this to be uh, square bracket, bracket 16 all over 9, close bracket all to the power of 3 all over 2, there times your 16 to the power of 3 all over 4, the square bracket close all to the power of 3. Now, how do we solve this? It is simple. According to board mass, we have to treat the terms that are inside the square bracket first. Now, there's something I want to bring to your notice here. Here we have the uh, negative power here. Ideally, according to the law of indices, we say that if we have your A minus X, this is same thing as 1 all over A to the power of X. In other words, we have to bring 1 and A, a division sign. Okay? To take away this minus or this negative sign here but look at what i want to do here now instead of introducing one and a division sign to take away this i want to interchange what i have in here now if i take this denominator to the numerator and take the numerator down this this sign will also leave the system and so we can write this as here we have our square bracket we have 9 all over 16. So bracket here, then we have 3 all over 2. The minus has left. Then times, this is all over invisible 1. If I do same here, I'm going to have here 1 all over 16, close bracket, all to the power of 3 all over 4, into my 1 all over 3. Okay, so this has not really changed anything. Okay, now this is a square root. This is fourth root. So we can rewrite what I have here now. And here, as this cross will be written as the square root of 9 all over 16, okay, or to the power of 3 times why this one also be written as the fourth root. Of 1 all over 16 all to the power of 3 all to the power of 1 all over 3 what I have in here now is what I have split or written in this format dx4 is what I have here now okay now with this what is the square root of 9 it is 3 what is the square root of 16 it is 4 and the fourth root of 1 is still 1. Then the fourth root of 16 is 2. And so we can, from here, have this to be, to be bracket. Here we have uh, 3 all over 4, all to the power of 3, there, times our 1 all over 2, all to the power of 3, or into our square bracket, into 1 all over 3. Good. Now, from this point, we use this power here to multiply everything we have here, to multiply the powers of what we have here now. So, we distribute this power among the two powers we have inside the bracket. And so, if we go ahead, we're going to have this to be your 3 all over 4 into 3 times 1 all over 3 times your 1 all over 2 all to the power of 3 times... 1 all over 3. Very good. Now, from here, this we go with this, and this we go with this. So we are now left with here we now have here 
3 all over 4 times your 1 all over 2. <laughs> Very simple. So 3 times 1 will give us 3 and 4 times 2 will give us 8. And so this is the answer to this simplification. As easy as A, B, C. All right, let's take question number two, which is this guy here. X to the power of 3Y plus 1 all over X to the power of 2Y plus 5 all over 2 times the square root of X to the power of 2Y minus 3. Okay, now what we do here, let's keep this guy and handle this very guy here. And so this implies that our x to the power of 3y plus 1 all over our x to the power of 2y plus 5 all over 2. We can rewrite this as dot x to the power of 2y minus 3 close bracket all to the power of 1 all over 2. Okay, because this is this is a power and this one we can bring it out as a power too. Okay, so all we need to do is to use this power here to multiply everything we have inside here. So if we do that, we're going to have this to become x to the power of 3y plus 1 all over our x to the power of 2y plus 5 all over 2 point which is times we have here to be s to the power of 2y times your 1 all over 2 minus 3 all over 1 times 1 all over 2. This is all over 1 2. Okay so we'll close this bracket close this bracket let's extend this guy here. Okay now from here these two we go with this to here. Nothing can cancel here. So we go ahead to have this to be our x to the power of 3y plus 1 all over our x to the power of 2y plus 5 all over 2, okay, times our x to the power of, here yeah, we are left with y. So we have y then minus uh, 3 all over 2. Very easy. Again, here we have x, here we have x, and we have a multiplication sign. So we suck up to the law of indices, which says that if you have your uh, x to the power of a to the power of x dot a to the power of y, this will give us a to the power of x plus y. Okay, so this is the multiplication law of indices. So if we suck up to this, the denominator can be written as x numerator which is 3y plus 1 all over we take only one of the x then we have 2y plus 5 all over 2 then here we have our plus y then minus 3 all over 2 okay let's proceed on this other side so from here proceed from here we have our x to the power of 3y plus 1 all over then we can add this 2y to this y to give us 3y so we now have it to be s to the power of 3y 5 all over 2 minus 3 all over 2 if we carry out this arithmetic we are going to have this to be 1 <laughs> very easy okay from this point you discover that what we have here is same thing we have here and so the numerator can cancel the denominator so everything here will go with everything here so when i have this it is equal to the one okay we'll have this to be one this is the answer to this guy here. answer to number two okay so let's take our uh, number three question number three reads Bracket open a to the power of 2 times b to the power of minus 3 times c, close bracket, all to the power of 3 all over 4, divided by a to the power of minus 1 
times b to the power of 4 times c to the power of 5 equal to a to the power of x, b to the power of y, c to the power of z. What then will be the value of 4x plus 4y plus 4z? So we want to evaluate this. And so from here, let's use this power here to open up all the terms we have inside the bracket here. And so we now have this to be your a to the power of 2 times your 3 all over 4. Then dot b to the power of minus 3 times your 3 all over 4. This is 3. Okay. Times c is just 1. So multiply by 3 all over 4. We remain like that. All over. Let's keep the bottom, which is a to the power of minus 1 times b to the power of 4 times c to the power of 5. The left-hand side, let's just keep that left-hand side, okay, and deal with this first. Now, from here, you discover that 2, we cancel 4 here, we are left with 2 here, then nothing will cancel here, and nothing will cancel here. And so, from here, we are now left with your a to the power, a to the power of uh, 3 all over 2, dot b to the power of minus 9 all over 4, dot c to the power of 3 all over 4. Everything all over your a to the power of minus 1, dot b to the power of 4, dot c to the power of 5. Okay. Now, you discover we have a at the top, we have a at the bottom, b here, b here, c here, c here. So, let's use this by applying the law of indices we say that if you have your a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y this is division so we're going to have this a to the power of s minus y so if we apply this law to this this we now implies have your a to the power of 3 all over 2 which is this this power comes up it will turn to minus 3 all over 2 minus bracket minus one close bracket dot our b b is minus nine all over four this goes up turns to minus four dot c our c is three all over four then this goes up turns to minus five this is all over visible one this is all over visible one and this all over visible one okay so we now come down again we open up this to give us here a to the power of 3 all over 2 plus 1 dot our b here let's bring out the minus and have this to be 9 all over 4 plus 4 close bracket dot our c is equal to 3 all over 4 minus 5 all over 1. Good. So let's continue from here. Let's continue from here. If we continue from here, if we carry out the arithmetic here, carry out the arithmetic here, carry out the arithmetic here, we're going to have this to be a equal to the LCM of this is 2. Okay, so we have here 3 plus here is going to give us 2. The dot RB, the same thing we're going to have here B to the power of minus bracket. Here LCM is 4, so we have here 4, we have 9 plus here we're going to have 16. Close bracket dot C, the LCM is 4. We we'll have here 4. Okay. Then we have 9, sorry, 3 minus 4 times 5, 20. Okay, 20. All right. So if we carry out this operation, we're going to have A to the power of 5 all over 2 
dot our b if we carry out this operation we're going to have here um, minus 25 all of our 4 dot c here we're going to have minus 17 all of our 4 mind you we had everything here to a to the power of s b to the power of y c to the power of z so if we bring in our right hand side we have a to the power of s b to the power of y and c to the power of z that's what we have here now okay with this it also implies that therefore our s is equivalent to the power of a here so we have here five all over two y is equivalent to minus 25 all over 4 and z is the equivalent to minus 17 all over 4. now we are asked to evaluate this so our expression for s plus 4y plus um 4z will now be equal to what Wherever we see S, we put in D. Wherever we see Y, put this. Wherever we see Z, put this. And so this will now give us 4 into 5 all over 2, close bracket, plus 4 into minus 25 all over 4, close bracket, plus 4 into minus 17 all over 4. And if you watch carefully, 2 year will give us 2, 2 year 1, 4 year 1, 4 year 1, 4 year 1, 4 year 1. So we cannot open up our bracket to give us here 2 times 5 plus what is left here is minus 25 plus here we have minus 17, which is 10 minus 25 minus. 17. So 10 minus 25 will give us minus 15. Minus 15 minus 17 will give us minus 32. So we have a minus 32 is the answer to our simplification. So this is the answer to uh, this uh, challenge here. Okay, now if you've learned something good from this uh, simple simplification exercises give the video a thumbs up and also if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button do not forget to share with family and friends members of your crew that need this knowledge remember jakes loves you and all of us at online mass tv love you so much thanks for always be there bye for now